Let's discuss the important factors of age and loan tenure by using the same case study of Mr. and Mrs. Time and relate these factors to the stages of our lives. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Time were aged 40 and 35 respectively when they bought their BTO in 2003. You see, like most people, that seems to be a natural choice to go for a BTO. Now, what if they had actually gone straight for a condo then? How about that as an option for you as you embark on your real estate journey? You see, most young couples these days can afford a condo with decent dual income and CPF. And when you're in your 30s, you have the least worry of being unemployed because getting a job is not too much of a problem for this age group generally. Notice in 2008, when they first achieved their MOP, Mr. and Mrs. Tan were aged 45 and 40 respectively. Now, this also means that the loan tenure for their next home can go up to 20 years to age 65 or 30 years to age 75 in the case of Mr. Tan. It's not too bad, but remember, if you are in your 30s, like for example, 35 years old, you are able to enjoy a longer loan tenure of 30 years and that would definitely lessen the monthly installments for your next property purchase. Hence, starting young is always wiser. Now, notice in 2013, Mr. and Mrs. Tan are 50 and 45 years old respectively. Based on that, in today's context, the loan tenure can only go up to 15 years to age 65 or 25 years to age 75. And you also notice that the concerns of these age groups are very different from the concerns when you have in your 30s. Usually, people of this age group will have more concerns about staying employed as it may not be as easy to find a job when they were in their 30s. And in 2018, when they finally decided to upgrade, you will realize that the loan tenure can only go up to 10 years. This inevitably creates more challenges to upgrade due to the age and loan factor. But quite frankly, stretching a loan tenure to 75 years old may not be enticing for some people including yourself, especially if you decide to take life a little easier in your 50s. So I hope you are able to relate these different life stages to your current situation. Which stages are you at? What would you have done differently if you could restart again? So in our Asset Restructuring Tribe, we help you understand the various strategies and options that are available so that you can move forward and not get stuck with the inner voice that has been dragging you back all this while. You know, check out our video introduction of our Asset Restructuring Tribe and how you are able to access the immense resources there for free and I look forward to meeting you there. Or if you realize the urgency of the problem that you're facing, please feel free to drop me a message so that I can assist you promptly.